In this video, we will talk about using Revit Families in Open Buildings Designer to create catalog items using the Content Creator tool. We can import Revit Families from the Backstage menu where we select Import, Exchange File Types, RFA. After we select the file which we would like to import, we can see that it is placed at the origin of our file. Before we save this file, we can get rid of these lines which are part of this Revit Family file. All we have to do is select the element and use the Drop Element function. Once we are ready, we can begin creating the cell. The first step is to define a cell origin. Once our cell origin is defined, we need to place a fence around it, and then we can create the cell. We must first select or create a new cell library. Then we may create a new cell in that cell library. The elements within the selected fence area are added to the cell. Once our cell has been created, we may use the content creator tool to create the catalog item. We must choose where we would like to store this item. We can save it at the organization level, the workspace level, or the workset level. Next we choose the discipline as well as the category. This determines which tool must be selected to place the item we are creating. I'll choose fixtures in this case. Next we must choose the cell we have created and then give the catalog item a name. The final step is to create connector and placement points. We can start by creating connections to our item. An item may have multiple connections. An example would be an inlet and an outlet for a pump. We select the location of the connection and then the direction. Once the connection is created, we have the option to rename it, change the type of connection that it is, change the connection diameter, I'll be changing it to 12 millimeters, and finally change the connection length. When attaching pipes to this connection, their diameter should automatically adjust to correspond to match this diameter. Once our connections are set up correctly, we can also add a placement point. I will add a point in space located at the bottom of our element. Catalog items can have multiple placement points and users may quickly and easily choose which placement point they would like to use when placing elements in their model. After we are sure that our catalog item has both connections as well as at least one placement point, we may click Finish to confirm. Once we click OK, the catalog item is saved at the specified level and is ready to be used. Let's run a quick test of the catalog item we created. We can create a new file where we will place these sprinklers and test them for functionality. In the new file, I will attach an architectural model of a building lobby to provide us with some level of context for design. Since I decided to place the sprinkler in the fixture category in the content creator, I have to choose the fixture tool to have access to it. We can see that the sprinkler is now part of this catalog and we may choose the placement point in the preview window. All we have to do now is place the content in our model and specify its orientation.
I have placed the sprinklers at the ground level elevation, so I will select them and move them a bit higher. Next I will place a pipe in our model, which we will use to connect our sprinklers to. I will change the catalog of our pipe to be a generic copper pipe, and we can see that the diameter of this pipe is 54 millimeters, which is greater than the connection diameter of the sprinklers we created, which was 12 millimeters. I will place a short segment of this pipe just to test out how the sprinklers we created will connect to it. The pipe was also placed at the ground level, so I must first move it up to be above the sprinklers we placed in the model. To check if the sprinklers that we created connect to the pipe correctly, we may use the device hookup tool. We first select the sprinkler, then the pipe, a small preview is shown where we may determine the location of the connection and by left clicking we confirm the placement location. A connection is automatically created between the sprinkler and pipe with the appropriate diameter. Lastly, if we select the pipe tool, we can see that the diameter of the pipe matches the connection to an existing pipe. However, if we hover our mouse over the connection of the sprinkler we created, the diameter of the pipe is automatically adjusted to match the catalog item. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.